don't think I should have sent the email, but just expound on that a little bit for me. Yeah. When you say you don't think you should have sent the email, why do you say that? I do was just I don't think it's going to change his viewpoint or, or anything mm -hmm. like that. And I, you know, and I know he didn't open the email, so I sent it and I tracked stuff like that. He hasn't opened it up yet. So. Okay. Fine that he didn't open it. I feel like it was just a waste, waste of time. I just should have moved on. It's not in that we're going to finish our reps when we do something. So I'm really proud of you for sending the email because that's the difference between an amateur and a professional. Amateur gets upset. Amateur gets pissed off. Amateur looks and goes 99% as a waste of my time with the email. A professional goes, for me not to send the email is an even bigger problem, right? Like you'll see, I'm, I'm, I'm nerding out on Kobe Bryant lately and I saw an interview where he was working with some kids and he's like, I don't know if they were kids or if his teammate. I caught the middle way through the interview. I'm not sure who it was, but there's other players and he's like, I'm buying all you guys shoes if you do this line drill, but one foot doesn't cross the line, nobody gets shoes, right? And one player missed the line by like that much. And he went into this diatribe about how you just do it, whether you like doing it, whether you feel like doing it, whether it sucks that day, whether anybody's watching or not watching, it's, a, it's cancer in your head to go, my foot's not gonna go over that line. And it's cancer in your head, Lloyd, to go, well, I'm not gonna send that email. The other thing that we have to understand, okay, we are professional fighters. We're not getting in the octagon here, but these people are not our friends. And that's a two-sided coin. Okay, if Samuel, Samuel will never be a jerk to me, but let's say he was. Sam's a jerk to me. I don't care, it's business. I don't know what's going on in Sam's world. I don't know what's going on with Sam's family. I don't know what's happening with his lease, okay? It could be something else and he's taking it out on me. That's fine. Here's the other thing. He's allowed to take it out on me because it's business. I don't care. I'm not married to Samuel, right? He's not my kid and I'm not, he's not my dad. We're not family. We're, we're doing business. It's my job to help him whether he's a jerk or not. Now there's certain lines that can be crossed where if, and you have to have a thick skin, but when somebody crosses that line, I've got a no fly list in our, in all my CRMs, people can enter that no fly list. I'm not going to tell you the reasons, but I have entered, you're on my no fly list. I'm not even calling you back, but you got to do some pretty nasty stuff to get on the no fly list. My point is this though, you have to stay unemotional because sometimes those emotional people that are complete jerks, number one, they'll come back around. So he might open that email and come back around. Number two, it's your process. You're just gonna trust your process. We're throwing the ball, we're throwing it for a first down, whether it's muddy, whether the, 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 it's windy out, whether the receiver's not in the right position or not, I'm, I'm, I called that play, I'm throwing that ball, okay? And then number three is, if you don't get in the habit of doing that kind of stuff, you fall out of it, and then the next thing you know, we spend more time trying to figure out, is this person gonna do it and read their minds? Some of the times the person that's the jerk just hung up with Google and noticed he had a $17,000 bill from AdWords and he's pissed off. And you said my business. He might be the perfect right customer for you. So um, I think you did everything right. On those situations when somebody's you know, really nasty, don't keep proceeding in sales and it sounds like you didn't do this, but just be like, hey, Samuel, man, the last thing I wanna do is upset you, it's put a label on it, it sounds like, it seems like, it feels like this that I shouldn't have called, that this isn't the right time. I will be here when you need to make sure that your business is on the My Business page and you're not having to constantly pay every time to put eyeballs on your business. Fair enough? And then Samuel's like, man, no, I'm not trying to be a jerk. I just am spending so much money with Google right now. Hey, it's not gonna, I'm not Sergey Brin. It's, I'm not Google. I just wanna be clear on that, okay? I am certified through Google. I don't work for Alphabet, all right? What's going on when you say you're paying too much? Now you're having a better conversation, right? But put a label on it. Sounds like, seems like, feels like, I shouldn't have called you. Sounds like, seems like, feels like, this isn't the right time. And then I will be here when you need blank. Not Google my business. What's the outcome of Google my business? Yeah. The, the outcome is eyeballs without you having to pay per click or whatever that you know more about the outcome than I'll ever know. You're on the right track, Lloyd.